So we've got this groovy little animation here we made in another video. Uh, I'm gonna take the flex stuff off of the body here because we're gonna add some additional elements to the page. So now we'll just wrap this in container. Save that and everything's looking good. Um, so uh, where web animation API differs from CSS keyframes is, is our ability to uh, control the animation. We can pause it, we can play it, we can reverse it, all sorts of stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna add a button here with a class of pause. It'll say pause and then we'll do play. So there's our buttons. Um, let's let's make buttons a lot bigger. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so uh, here is our animate that uh, that we created previously. Um, we are going to assign that to a value. So I'm going to say const my animation equals. Save that, and everything is going to work the way it always has. Um, but if I come down here and I say my animation dot pause, it'll I mean it'll pause it immediately, right? It's paused. Um, so rather than doing that, I'm going to add an event listener to my buttons. So dot pause, add event listener on the click. We're going to say my animation dot pause clean this up a little bit so we can see it and we'll try that out so i'll click on pause right there it paused it awesome so we can just follow suit with the uh, play method so we'll pause and we'll play and it picks up right where we paused it and continues to play.